Right, there's an organization called Project Dynamo that set these rescues up and the state chartered the planes. We were able to speak with a couple evacuees who say things in Israel were getting worse and worse every day. They almost gave up hope of getting home. I'm humbled to think that, you know, people risk their lives to come get us. Linda and her husband, Ron Newman, are speaking from their home in Melbourne Beach, Florida. But just 48 hours before, they were in Rehovot, Israel, trying to be rescued and escape the violence. Constant bombardment. We heard bombs going off and the Iron Dome working and we running into the, the bomb shelter. The Newman's prayers were answered on Saturday when they were told the state of Florida partnered with a nonprofit organization to send planes to Tel Aviv and bring U.S. citizens to Tampa. The nonprofit, Project Dynamo, is run by military veterans and specializes in rescuing U.S. citizens from areas of conflict around the world. When Americans are stuck or in trouble, someone has to show up. CEO and founder Brian Stern says Project Dynamo planned the rescues while the state of Florida chartered the plane, which the organization priced out at about $2 million. He says it's the first time any government agency has assisted them. And when Governor Ron DeSantis greeted them on the runway Sunday, it was also a first. In 602 missions, that is the first time an American politician has ever met us home. Ron and Linda were two out of 270 people that landed in Tampa on Sunday, including 91 children and four dogs. Stern says he hopes Project Dynamo can do more. We're going to keep on working. I don't care if it's by boat or helicopter or big airplane or small airplane, as long as we can get people out. So he says the ability to keep doing these missions is based on funding, and he does not know if the Florida government will fund future flights. Florida officials say they are planning more rescue flights in the coming days. Michelle? All right, Liv, thank you.